Hi, this is Joe, and I'm going to walk you through a demo on folders that I wrote for an art company for an article on Dev Central. Uh, this is introduced in Big IP version 11, and I'm going to walk you through the example here called uh, Management Folder. Uh, it shows the eye control methods dealing with folders on version 11. So the the main logic of the application here is it just does some initialization, taking the input, and then it gets some values from the users. Uh, and then it processes that input. So let's see what the processing part is. The, the function for processing input is right here and it shows you the various commands that it checks for and in the article I describe all these functions and what they do. So I won't describe that here but it'll, I'll give you a walkthrough and a demo about how all these functions work in action. So we'll start with the script here. We, I will go management folder. I'm going to give the big IP username and password and it's going to show me connected. So what's this first thing here? This is the current folder you are in. So I'm going to do an ls and it's going to show me ls, very similar like uh, you can also do a dir if you're a, a Windows type person and it shows you the various values of the name, um, got a descript metadata description here and the device group that the object is associated with. Uh, so let's walk through the, the folders. Let's say I had a change. So I can cd into common do an ls and it shows you Joe is in there. This is Joe's folder, the metadata for the description for that. I can change the value of that with if by typing h it shows you the commands. So I'm going to do sd here for set the description. So we'll do ls again. Let's go sd Joe um, new folder. We'll call it new folder. And you'll see now Joe is called News Folder. So it's very easy to, to query and set the description, metadata description for folders. So I'm going to CD into Joe. And there's some other ones. There's DC1 with uh, called Joe Rules and DC2 for Data Center 2. So that's uh, changing folders. You can CD in the name. You can give a full path and say common slash Joe. And I'm there. So now all I control calls are made with this uh, working on this current folder. So if you set your current folder to common Joe, when you go to create objects, they're going to be created in that folder. Go back to the top there. So let's see. We've got the common Dev Central. That's uh, so I've showed you how to change folders and how to list folders. Let's create some. Go into Dev Central. There's none in there. Let's make a direct uh, make a folder called App One. We'll make a folder called app2. There's no description, so let's set the descriptions for app1 to exchange. And let's set the description for app2 to Microsoft SharePoint. Now you'll see that the apps have uh, exchange. So I can go to app1. I can create another one for uh, OA. So now we have app1. Um, and we have an OS subdirectory. So the, that gives you creating and you can also remove them so I can do uh, rmdir app2 ls and that will give you, show you just app1. So uh, sometimes you may want to do recursive listings so we do support that as well. There's a recursive state uh, that you can do. Um, let's see here. If we type h you'll see it's the r command. So let's just type r and it says recursive state set to state enabled now and you'll notice a little update to the prompt that says R. So I'm going to type LS here and now it shows you a recursive listing, listing of all objects. That's kind of cool. If I hit R again and do LS it'll just show me what's in the existing directory. So this is true for all of the API calls. If you want to get a recursive listing just set that recursive state and that's all you need to do. I sh already showed you the metadata. Um, what's also cool about this recursive state is that it's valid across all the eye control commands. So I'm going to set that recursive state and I'm going to show you a listing here. I've added something. If you add the exclamation mark before it, you can actually issue any eye control call. So I'm in the top level partition here, or stop top level folder. I'm going to make a do this. I'm going to say local lb pool got git list. And that gives me all the pools in in all the partitions. You'll see with recursive. But if I turn recursive state off and I say pool git list, it should return nothing because there's nothing in the but if I go into common and issue that again, bang, it shows me everything in the common directory. So pretty cool options for the recursive state and all of that. So that's the demo on this application. It's a folder walker uh, uh, command shell. And hopefully this gives you an illustration of how the APIs work. Thanks.